Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kaiga1324. Um, hey. up here today, we're playing a game called Arslan uh, Warriors of Legend. I believe that's what it's called. Um, I don't really know a lot about the game other than I know it's a Dynasty Warriors style. Um, like hack and slash game based on a anime. Um, so I don't really know a lot about this game. Um, I'm only going to play it for a little bit, test this game out, see if it's worth doing um, some more videos on in the future. Um, if I enjoy it, then I'll do some more videos maybe. If I don't, then I won't. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, I think it just plays us straight into the game, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, it. It's pretty much as I can tell just by playing it. Um, it's pretty much similar to Dynasty Warriors. Um, I don't really know a lot about this anime. I think it's a, based on a real anime. I'm not sure. Um, let me know. If you know about it, if it's a good anime, um, might check it out. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, so guys, um, what have I done today? I went into town today, did a little bit of shopping, whatever. I didn't really get anything for myself, um, other than I picked up a few Transformers books from Forbidden Planet, which were um, actually free. Yeah, they were free. Um, <laughs> which was really weird, they just had two, three, uh, um, I think it was Retribution and um, Dark of the Moon, the book. So I thought, hey, there were three, I might as well pick them up. Why not? Um, anyway, so another thing um, I thought I'd mention is that I've got on the way is I've got a fully loaded Raspberry Pi. Now, I know that thing you're thinking, am I... Is that some sort of food? Well, Raspberry Pi, yeah, essentially is food. But what this Raspberry Pi is not... This Raspberry Pi is not a food. It's a, um... It's a, um... Emulation device. And... Oh my god, what the fuck is going on? Um, and this emulation device obviously like eyes are custom built um, emulation devices which people will build themselves or you can buy the parts and you build your own custom emulation devices with whatever systems you want on there and there's I think Raspberry Pi supports um, I think Raspberry Pi supports basically Um, up to 40 different it supports basically up to 40 different um, uh, consoles and now that sounds awesome and everything but the only problem is I'm not that great when it comes to engineering work and building consoles and things like that so what I decided to do was go on a website called Etsy and there's a person on there that um, sells basically sells um, fully loaded Raspberry Pi which are pre-built by whoever would uh, make them and um, basically the particular model that I brought comes with over 2300 games and the consoles on there are NES, Sega, Master System, Super Nintendo and the Sega Mega Drive and the price that I paid for it was absolutely fantastic. Um, I'll talk more about it when it turns up, which should be tomorrow, I'm hoping. Since I ordered it yesterday, I'm hoping it will come tomorrow. Um, if it doesn't come tomorrow, it will come 
Monday or Tuesday. It doesn't matter when it comes, but I will be doing a review video on the actual thing where I do a bit of an unboxing and a little review on it. And um, then... Hello. Fuck say stupid. Commentary issues. Um. Anyway, so like I was saying. Um. Basically, um. I will do a little bit of an unboxing review. Um. On the actual. Um, game, it's um, the actual um, console thing itself, and then, and then I will do. Um, hopefully, that means we're gonna have. Then I'm gonna do a video, a dedicated video where I actually show off all the games that are on there. Well, I say all the games, but I don't mean every single game I'm gonna show gameplay for. I'm just gonna do the list, go down the list. And show you what games are on there, and then, of course, for the future, we can play some retro games. So, um, this game sorry, I haven't really been talking about this game. Um, from what I can try so, see, so far, this game is quite similar to most um, um, it's quite similar to uh, most um, warrior games. I think this game got generic. Oh, well, I say generic, but um, quite average reviews. Um, I think most people said that this game could have been better. Um, from what I've seen so far, it seems alright. Um, I can't really, I can't really say too much on the actual game itself, but because I've only done the first thing, but. But from what I can see, it just seems like it's going to be sort of another anime style Dynasty Warrior games. And you've got to think, like, there are quite a few. Um, there are quite a few of these Warrior games that are based on other games or animes now. But, um, I don't really know a lot about this anime, like I said. Um, I don't really watch too much anime. I, I watch it occasionally. Um, but it's interesting. I think this game is going to be much more of a, a story driven. Um, um, warrior game. Um, rather than you know your bait, you have a warrior game where it's more. Um, what do you call it? Doing whatever you want and stuff. I think this game actually reminds me a little bit more of the Attack on Titan game. Not not in gameplay wise, just the the look of it. Just the, the look and feel of it. Just reminds me a little bit of the Attack on Titan game, which I haven't played yet, but I have got it. It's got it, but I haven't really put some time into that game. Um, will I play this game a lot? Probably not. I, I got it because it was a, a cheap. It was cheap, and it's a game that I think um, down the line could become quite uncommon because it's, it is essentially a Japanese themed game. 
on the Xbox One, which, which by the which, which doesn't um, we don't get a lot of Japanese games. On console uh, PlayStation so but but um, as for PlayStation I did um, some PlayStation today in town had a look around just to get some ideas about how much they are I do want to get a PS4 at some point um, I'm just gonna keep an eye out for deals um, and hopefully eventually get a PlayStation 4 but I can't guarantee when it will happen, hopefully before Christmas. But, um, yeah, I mean, as for PlayStation 4, guys, if I do get a PlayStation 4, let me know what exclusives I should get. Now, I know a lot of people are thinking... Why not just go PlayStation 4 over Xbox? Well, because all of my, all any Xbox games that are multi-platform or games that are multi-platform, I'll get on the Xbox because I can do game share with Ryan. Whereas most, um, what do you call it, um, exclusives, I'll just go for on PlayStation, which a lot of people do. They go for multi-platform games on one system and then exclusives on the other. And of course, I think it's no lies or no um, no secret. Sorry, I should say that PlayStation does have the better of the exclusives, and the Xbox doesn't have a lot of first-party support. And well, it does, but it doesn't. If you know what I mean. It does have a, a few good games, but there are. But if you compare it to the PlayStation 4, the PlayStation 4 does have. Uh, excuse me. It does have a lot better. Exclusives, and there are a lot of Japanese style games and anime games. But, um, of course, one of the most, um, one of the most, um, uh, one of the most, um, sought after PlayStation 4 exclusive at the moment is, um, is the new Crash Bandicoot game. Now, I agree that that game looks fantastic and actually I really really I I told I said it years ago that that should have come out a long time ago what's the matter Oi. what's wrong oh gotta destroy this block <laughs> Um, as I was saying, yeah, the, uh, that Crash Bandicoot game, obviously, a lot of people will get a PS4 just for that. Um, but as I was saying, guys, um, people are saying that it is coming out on Xbox, might do, and a lot of PlayStation fanboys, again, they're a little bit pissed off about that. Um, well, as, as much as I hate to say it, guys, um, Crash Bandicoot is owned by Activision, and the oh, controls are stupid. Let me get up there. How does he not make that? Well, I guess I could have just used this ladder. Well, I, it would have been nice to know that I could do that. Um, anyway, like I was saying, um, 
Activision do own Smash Bandicoot. It's not a PlayStation exclusive. I think this game is a multi-platform. I think this game did come out on Xbox as well, um, and PS4 so as well. So far, it just seems, you know, it seems alright. Um, again, that again, you know, I'm in, I mean, I like all most of the Warrior games, so I like these sort of games. Um, I did obviously say that there would be a lot of Warrior games. Warrior games on the place uh, on this channel. Um, I didn't say exactly which ones I'd like to play most of them, but uh, I wish it would tell me where I've got to go that way. Um, but like I said, I don't think this is going to be a playthrough um, by any means. I just think this is just going to be a one off video, and then if you guys want to see more of it. Then I'll be happy to oblige. Yoruda! <laughs> あの、<笑> いつか殿下が大いにご即位なされましたが、登用していただきたい我が友人がおります。そのものなら殿下の疑問に答えられるかもしれません。それは誰だ。あ、口が滑りました。そうやつはひねくれ者ゆえ、今の話はなかったことに